in 1960s, British scientist Peter Rayson develops an experiment. He studied languages before, but this experiment is different. It's about human logic. He invites a participant and asks her to sit down. He gives her a task. So, what is this task? Peter tells her that he knows the rule and asks her to guess what the rule is. He says some triplets of numbers fit the rule. For example, triplet 2, 4, 6 fits the rule. He writes the rule on the piece of paper, so participant knows that the rule is fixed. He folds it down and stores it in a bowl. The participant is not allowed to read it till the end of experiment. She can ask about any three triplets of numbers and Peter says yes if they fit the rule and no if they don't. She can ask as many questions as she wants. When try to guess the rule. She already knows that triplet 2, 4, 6 fits the rule. She asks uh, 4, 6, 8. Peter says yes. 10, 12, 14. Yes. Huh, it looks very simple, isn't it? She tries just a little bit more. 1, 3, 5. Yes, says Peter. She tells Vason that she knows the rule. The rule is that numbers need to increase by 2 each time. Vason shakes his head and tells her that the test is not so easy as it seems. Only 20% of people get it right. She thinks hard. Was there something she didn't notice? She gets an idea. There was something she didn't check. 3, 6, 9, asks she. Yes, says Peter. How about 10, 20, 30? Yes, says Peter. Of course, the real answer is that the numbers have to go up by the same amount each time. It doesn't have to be 2. She can now unfold the paper. She sees three numbers in increasing order, from lowest to highest. What? So the question is, why was she so wrong? And not only she, but 80% of people before her as well. Why this simple rule was so difficult to guess? The answer is confirmation bias. It's the tendency to confirm your existing beliefs, not challenge them. We don't like to be told no. We rather ask questions that would give us yes. Try this test on your family, friends or even teachers. Would we solve it or also be wrong? Hello friends, it's Ava. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found something interesting for you today. If you want me to create more videos like that, please give uh, this video thumbs up. And I really appreciate if you leave some comments down below.